Hey everybody, LogicBomb82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated server for Squad. It's uh, free to play this weekend on Steam, very popular game. It's got really positive reviews. Um, it's a tactical first person shooter. So I think you can do up to 50 versus 50. So I did see some complaints about there not being enough servers. So I thought it would be great to do a server tutorial for people, people so they could set up their own servers. So first thing you're going to need to do is go to Steam CMD here and download the Windows version. Just hit the download button here. It's going to save it and just go ahead and hit OK and download it. I've done it already so I don't need to do it again. Once you have that downloaded you're going to want to extract it. I like to put it on either my desktop or my C drive so it doesn't really matter wherever you want to put it. So open it and then you're going to see a file called Steam CMD in there. If this is the first time you've installed it, it's going to be your only file. So you want to launch it. It's going to download some files here. That's fine. When it's done and it's at the prompt, you're going to want to type in login anonymous and then hit enter. And then you're going to want to do an app underscore update. And the ID number for the squad dedicated servers is 403240. Hit enter. I've already done this. It is a recent, a decently big download, so it may take you know five or ten minutes depending on your internet speed. But once you have it downloaded, you can just hit exit out of here. And then wherever your Steam CMD was, it's going to install this Steam apps. And you're going to go to Common, and then here you should have your servers. And here's the squad dedicated server. And then once you're in here, the squad server.exe is how you run it. You don't want to run it yet though. You want to go into the squad folder. And then here's the server configs. This is where you're going to set everything up for your server. So the server CFG is the main one. It's where you can name your server. Put max players. Um, do all kinds of the basic server settings right here. So you want to edit it as you want it. And then make sure you save it and close it. You can also set a server message, you can set admins, you can ban people from here. So you can, this is where you also configure the map rotation. So basically this is where you can configure all your settings. And then once you have all that done, you can go back to your main squad server.exe and run it. And it doesn't have any kind of pop-ups, it's, um, it's a silent runner, so you just want to click on your taskbar, go task manager, and then look to make sure there's a squad exe running. That way you know the server is up and running. And you should be good to go. Um, I will post the information, the link to download Steam CMD in the comments, and also the ports that you need to open in the comments. And you should be good to go. If you have any questions, please post uh, a comment in my YouTube video, and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel, everybody. Thanks.